Hi, welcome to part two in our next um, tutorial related to digital painting. Um, we're going to continue adding on to part one. We're going to be adding a few more later layers and tweaking this so it looks a little bit more like a painting. So what you're going to do next, um, again, double check and make sure you have these layers. Remember, it's not going to work properly unless you have the layers and you follow these directions precisely. So again, don't you know add anything. Don't do any of these adjustment layers. It's going to mess you up. So you can go down here to the new layer icon on your layer palette. <clears throat> we are going to go over here to edit, fill, and then you're going to select a couple things. For contents, you want to make sure it is 50% gray. And then um, you want to, um, that's it. And then opacity 100%, mode normal, and then hit OK. So basically, it's going to fill that layer with gray. And then you're going to go up here to your blending mode, right here where it says normal. And you're going to select overlay. Let's rename this layer, double click, and we're going to call it um, Dodge. And we're going to kind of bring back some of these highlights as um, and um, the highlights on like the nose and the lips and um, parts of the eye. Um, double check and make sure that your foreground and mid um, your foreground and background color are set to black. I mean, white and black. Um, if it's not, just kind of click on this little icon here, oops, to reset it, and then. Um, you are going to select the dodge tool. Um, the dodge tool is probably located underneath the sponge tool. So click on this little arrow here. You just you used the sponge to tool earlier, so that's probably what's showing. So click on the dodge tool. It is highlighted up here in the tool option bar. So what we're going to do is select highlights. We're going to change the exposure to about 30%. And then you want to have a brush that you know can accommodate what you're trying to select. So I am going to kind of zoom in here just a little bit so I can see better. So and then go back and select the dodge tool. And you might need to go and kind of resize your brush. So I'm going to kind of um, bring back some of the highlights of the lips. A little bit just to make them a little bit more contrasty. I'm gonna kind of go in here and do the eyes. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the nose, so just kind of where the light would hit, um, kind of hit you. Remember, the type of brush you want to use should have a soft edge to it, so, so make sure it's not a hard edge, then it will look um, kind of weird. So kind of anywhere where you see like a highlight, you might want to kind of just bring that back. I'm going to use it to brighten the whites of the eyes as well. I'm going to do some here. Highlighting here. So maybe do the big areas first where you, you see it, and then you might have to change your brush size. I probably need a, bit, a little bit of a larger brush here. It's kind of like con, you know, like girls when you 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 do contouring um, on your, you know, your makeup. It's it's basically kind of the same idea here. That looks like a little too much. So if you do it a little too much, just hit edit, step backwards, and then again, you can always control the exposure here if you feel like it's doing it too much. 
So again, it really depends on the picture. So now I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And do some here. Here. So you probably only have one person to do, but I, I chose this picture. And maybe right here where her eyes are. Okay, and then again, it helps to kind of look at it up close and then hit view, put it on screen so you can kind of see the overall effect. And now that I've looked at it um, in its totality, I think I'm going to do some um, burning in as well around the eyes. So burning in is like kind of darkening places. So I'm going to go and change, and, and it's up to you. I think I need to do it. I need to bring back some of these shadows a little bit on her face to give her more definition. Um, so I'm going to rename this layer to Dodge, Oops, and Burn. All right. So the same thing, um, just make sure your foreground and background color are set. And then the burn tool is located with where the dodge tool is. It looks like a little hand. And it does the same thing. You can focus on um, various um, tones of your picture. So I'm going to switch this to shadows. And I'm, I'm going to put my exposure down. Again, always start off a little bit lighter. And, you know, and then if you feel like you need to do it more, you can increase the exposure. So I'm going to zoom in. I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to select the burn tool. Where is it? Here it is, little hand. So again, the same thing. You might need to adjust um, your brush a little bit. So their shadows are fine. I feel like I need to, to bring back some of her shadows here along her nose. Here. And then I like to do it on the eyes a little bit. So I'm going to make a brush, the brush a little bit smaller. So I like to kind of do the eyebrow, you know, again, it's like contouring. I'm going to do her eyelashes a little bit. Oops. And if you mess up, just hit edit, step backwards. If you feel like you need to darken it, you can always increase the exposure. Sorry, I might keep hitting my right um, tool. Just to give her a little bit more definition. And again, it's more of a subtle um, layering of this kind of stuff. And again, it's always better to start off lighter than darker. And then just, you know, if you need to add, you can. <laughs> Gonna do it really tiny. Bring back, make her eyes pop a little bit more.
groups. So if you want to use a mouse um, to do this, it might be easier to control than um, trying to do it on the mouse pad. All right, so that looks good. All right, I'm going to go up to view, put on screen, take a look at it. <clears throat> And then again, as always, if you feel like you need to go and, and do some more stuff, you can. So I'm going to make my next layer. I'm going to click on the new layer um, icon at the bottom of the layer palette. And this one I'm going to entitle Stroke. S-T-R-O-K-E. And we're going to be using a new tool, um, the pen tool. But before you do that, um, go to Brush first, this brush tool, click on it. And then your pixels, um, you want to have a very small pixel size for your brush. And again, you just want a basic, you know, circle. You don't want anything funky. Um, so um, maybe three to five pixels. Okay, no bigger than that. I'm going to leave mine at five. The next step would be to, um, we're going to reverse the foreground and background color. So to do that, so we want the white to be the foreground color and black to be the background color. So just click this little um, double arrow here to switch them. And then um, we're going to select our pen tool and use that. So zoom in before you do that so you can see what you're doing. We're going to kind of add a stroke underneath the eyes. So select the pen tool. You want to select the freeform pen tool, this one. And then it might take a little bit of practice. So, you know, don't give up after trying it just one time. But what you're going to do is just kind of do anchor points. So you do your mouse release. You can pick back up from an anchor point, And it just kind of wraps around. There. And then after you do that, you're going to right click and you're going to hit stroke path. And this will come up brush, simulate pressure, hit OK. So you can kind of see it formed a little white line right there. And then um, right click again and hit delete path. So there it is. And we're going to um, smudge these and blend it in a little bit better. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use my stroke. And then again, right click, stroke path, hit OK, right click again, delete path. And then I'm going to add a stroke here along the nose. All right, right click, stroke path, OK, right click again, delete path, OK. And then I'm going to go and do it for the rest of my figure. So I'm going to pause it, but you get the idea. So you want to kind of do underneath the eyes and maybe kind of underneath the nose. All right, so you can see here I've done all my little strokes. Um, and it really just helps define the eyes and, and sort of make them pop. So I'm going to look at it, keep it on screen. All right, so we're almost done. So we're going to flatten this and do some final touches. So, But before you flatten it, just to make sure, go ahead and save this version with your layers. So go to File, Save As. And then I already have it digital painting working because um, I saved it earlier. And, you know, just save this in the lesson folder in the folder, you know, that's going to be probably called digital painting. OK. And anyway, hit save. Um, since I already have that, I'm going to hit yes. And then hit OK. So the next step is to flatten it. 
so you're going to go up to layer flatten image and now i'm going to save a version of this so i'm going to go to file save as oh it's still being saved well anyway we'll save it after we do our changes so i'm going to just do some small touches i'm going to zoom in and what I'm going to do first is use the smudge tool. It looks like a little finger. It might be located underneath the blur tool. And I'm just going to use it to kind of um, just soften these strokes that I did. So when you have it highlighted up here in the tool option bar, again, you want like a soft edge brush. Um, you can sort of play around with the strength of it. And, um, you know, you can change the brush size as needed right here. So just to kind of soften those just a tad bit. So I'm going to pause it while I do the other ones and then I'll come back. So I, I did over here. And then once you are done with that, um, hit, you know, view, fit on screen. And then we're going to add um, a, one last filter. We're going to go up here to filter lens correction. And you want to click on this tab, custom. And then we're going to go down here to vignette. And we're going to just kind of push this down, the slider down to maybe about 40% and create kind of vignette. You know, you can do it more if you want. It just kind of depends on what you like. I might do mine a little bit more. And it, again, a lot of this depends on the type of picture that was taken, like where it was taken, what kind of lighting. I'll leave it like that. And then you hit OK. So that's the final result. So let's um, save it now. File, save as digital painting, and I'm going to put flatten this time. And then I'll just save it in the lesson folder. Don't save it random like I am. You're going to have your own folder. Okay. Hit OK. So you should really have three versions of your picture. You should have the original scan. You should have the working copy with your, with your layers. And then you should have this flattened version. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll probably do maybe two more tutorials. We'll see. Um, so stay tuned.